don't want to go to Snobby Oak Kit. Why not? You're Snobby Webster. Hey, quiet, Sophie. Look, we're just humouring your mum. There won't be any places left. You've probably got to put your name down before you're a twinkle in the eye there, so you won't be going. It's just a meeting, that's all. You reckon that'll stop, Mum? You're going to be wearing that right stupid straw hat and getting spat out on the bus before you know it. Yeah, well, I'd rather have a stupid hat than stupid hair. Helmet head! Hey, stop fighting! Makes you look like a village idiot. Totally challenged. Hey, I thought you said you were ready. Yeah, I am. Get your suit on, Kevin. I don't want them thinking we're a pair of grimy plebs. Uh, I'm on call. Don't be silly. Quick, we're going to be late. Mum, Rosie called me helmet head again. Can I change my hairstyle? Oh, my God, I love it. Looks lovely. Yeah, really special. <laughs> you two getting married? Again? Hey, no cheeking. You've seen a man in a suit before, haven't you? Not looking that uncomfortable, have not? We're off to Oak Hill for a meeting. Not that it's any of your business. Oh, OK, well, eh? Sure you're not underdressed? Where's your topper and tails, Lord Snooty? Ho, oh, oh. ho. All we have to do is dress up to get in. We'll be laughing now. Oh, she'll get in, don't worry. They won't dare refuse you. Yeah, well, from your mouth to God's ears. Right, come on, let's get this out of the way. Oh, it's a shame we've got to go in our old banger, isn't it? I mean, couldn't we ask Mikey? We could borrow his car for that day. No, we couldn't. Well, haven't you got anything in that's a bit better than ours? <laughs> we don't borrow customers' cars. Why, well, don't we? No. That's a shame. I was going to take Katie out for a driving lesson in that uh, tuned-up Sierra. Show some handbrake turns and all that. Oi, what have I told you? You don't check her out, and definitely not in your racing car. I'm teaching her. Oh, Tyrone, come on, customers waiting. Jump to it. Hey, we can cope. All these have been promised by dinner time anyway. So, uh, is it all right if I take Kay out for a driving lesson when we've done? Yeah, sure. What, an hour time? It's only half an hour. Yeah, half an hour when we're paying you to be in here. Well, leave it so. We've got this off for you anyway. Me and Tyrone can cope. Well, if you're happy to pay for him for doing nothing, that's up to you. It's a breakdown, boss. I told Rob. Oh, we can't go. Needs two of us on these. Sorry, Sam. You're going to have to go on your own. What? Send one of these? No, they're busy. Look, I don't even think about complaining. You're the one who wanted to take on extra work. Yeah, I've got to go and get changed as well now, haven't I? Where's Kevin? Oh, he's towing a van to Shrewsbury. Oh, Shrewsbury? Where's that? Oh, don't let anyone at that posh school find out you don't know. Oh, it weren't. It wasn't like that. The headmaster's got quite charming and he's got old-fashioned manners. It's an old-fashioned school. Yeah, well, it shows you how much you know it's modern. Got every sport under the sun there. Had a summer school doing archery there today. A good way of repelling the poor kids, isn't it? Hey, you don't know if your Katie could babysit for us tonight, do you? Don't see why not. Early doors, just for an hour or so. If you see her, we ask her for me. I'll ask her. But if it clashes with her elocution lessons... Hmm. Well, you can get all sorts done when you want to. You dare to defeat us. I wish you were. I don't want to go. I know you don't, but we can squeeze you in, then you go in. And in ten years' time, when you're eating out every night without fretting over which fork to use, you're going to thank me. Yeah, but until then, I'm going to hate you. Ah, well, that's my tough. Oh, that'll be Katie, probably. She's going to start on me soon. She'll know what she's doing because she's tried everything out on you. I have no chance. Your mum, mate. Hey, girls. You're set. Oh, I can see tonight's going to be a laugh a minute. Been driving around Wales all day looking for a farm that doesn't exist. I thought you were going down south to Shrewsbury. Yeah, well, Shrewsbury is near Wales. Yeah, Thicko, it's you that needs private education. Hey, don't you speak to me like that. I hope you two are going to behave yourself for Katie. It was her who said it. Don't start on me. I'm going out with Martin anyway. It's been arranged. Well, you can see Martin any time. And I'll be able to tell you about the school on the way. Ooh, there's a treat from her. i will phone him up on her. You know, most people get warm slippers and cold beer when they come home. His answer phone. Leave a message. Yes, I'm going to. Martin, it's Kev. Look, so much come up. I'm gonna have to owe you that beer. Have a quick time, come on. See this? It's rubbish. It's you on your first day at Old Kill. There's you in that stupid straw hat. And there are the kids from Weatherfield Eye laughing at you and chucking gob balls. Right, you've got ten seconds to get on the site, bro. Cut that blooming fringe off and it won't look like the magazines. I were only messy. Three seconds gone, it's seven, six. You think I were messy? She'll get me into that school. Mum's a head case. She won't stop till I'm there. Oh, she's not that bad. You're joking. You don't think my mum's lost it? 
Shan what? You don't think my mum's mental? Seriously. <laughs> I'm not going to bed this early. No one's asking you to. I've had a babysitter before, you know. Boyfriend comes and it's bedtime, Rosie. Hey, hang about. I'm not a boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry, you're too old for that. Man friend, then. Hey! You've got to be about the day, you do. Can you not just merely rejoice in the fact that I'm making myself scarce? Mm. <laughs> you know, I don't know why she's bothered about going to a snobby school. She'll fit right in. Yeah, she will. Oh, didn't you get Kev's message? No. No, how was your thing? Right. Oh, it was triumph. Got a business card off this bloke who's got a fleet of vans. I think we should get some business cards printed. How many ways to waste money? Oh, <laughs> Techie! Oh, he's still upset because he missed out on his pint. Pop off now, Kev, if you want one. Oh, I'll give it a miss, Sam. Not in the mood. Yeah, I'll be fine. Some other time, eh? Yeah, sure. Right. Well, I'll come with you. Eh, uh, don't you want your money? I'd call it favour. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. Back just in time, I reckon. You dirty man. 